Welcome! This video will guide you through the mechanical seal installation procedures of the Viking Hygienic Series pumps. This series includes the following pump models. As always, consult the applicable technical service manual for important safety information and a complete listing of suggested tools before you begin. A copy of the latest revision can be found on our website at vikingpump.com. It's critical to know what liquid the pump has been handling and the precautions necessary to safely handle the liquid. The seal face kit and elastomer kit part numbers can be found on a hang tag on the pump. If the tag has been removed, contact your local authorized Viking pump distributor to obtain these kit numbers. The seal face kit includes the stationary and rotary seal faces as well as the wave spring. The elastomer kit includes all of the o-rings needed for the seal as well as the head, idler pin, and rotor retainer o-rings needed to reassemble the pump. This video shows the seal installation procedures for the rotary and stationary members of single and double mechanical seals. For disassembly and reassembly procedures for the complete pump, see the technical service manual and our Hygienic Series Wet End Disassembly Cleaning and Reassembly video. It is recommended that new O-rings be used for reassembly of the pump. All O-rings should be lightly lubricated with a food grade lubricant that is suitable for the application before installing. Install the seal housing O-ring onto the seal housing. Place the wave spring into the seal housing. Install the stationary face O-ring onto the stationary face. Avoid touching the ray sealing surface with anything besides clean hands or a clean cloth. Install the stationary face into the seal housing. Make sure that the notches on the back of the stationary face line up with the tabs on the seal housing. Single mechanical seals can be easily converted to double mechanical seals and vice versa. The rotary member that is installed on the back of the rotor is the same for both single and double mechanical seals. The seal housing is also the same. The only difference is that the single mechanical seal uses one seal housing o-ring, wave spring, stationary face, and stationary face o-ring, while the double mechanical seal uses two of each of these components. Install the two seal housing o-rings onto the seal housing. Place the inner wave spring into the seal housing. Install the stationary face O-ring onto the inner stationary face. Install the inner stationary face into the seal housing. Place the outer wave spring into the seal housing. Install the stationary face O-ring onto the outer stationary face. Install the outer stationary face into the seal housing. Make sure that the notches on the back of the stationary faces line up with the tabs on the seal housing. Insert the assembled stationary member into the casing. Make sure that the anti-rotation cutout of the seal housing lines up with the anti-rotation washer on the back side of the casing. Pumps with double mechanical seals require barrier fluid. Operating a pump with a double mechanical seal without barrier fluid will damage the seal and pump parts. Follow the barrier fluid recommendations listed in the technical service manual. For single seals, plug the barrier fluid connections with pipe plugs. The port with the casing groove needs to be used as the suction port for the pump's primary rotation. Use the casing studs to install the casing on the bracket. The anti-rotation holes on the back of the rotor must line up with the lugs on the back side of the rotary face. Install the O-ring onto the back of the rotary face. Install the rotary face onto the back side of the rotor. Use two nuts to hold the casing in place during assembly. Install the rotor onto the shaft by lining up the splines on both components. Take care not to damage the seal faces while installing the rotor and ensure that the seal faces do not slip out of position. The mechanical seal for our Hygienic Series pump is fully installed. 
follow the assembly procedures in the technical service manual and our hygienic series wet end disassembly, cleaning and reassembly video to reassemble the rest of the pump. If you still have any questions regarding this or other Viking pump products, please contact your local authorized Viking pump distributor or visit us on the web at vikingpump.com. Thank you for watching.